a cold one out here this morning. Today is uh, October 1st, Tuesday, and uh, we are about two weeks out from our last video, and uh, I'm doing an update at the end of the season performance on the greenhouse. Uh, today's partly sunny, partly cloudy day. Um, I've kept this thing kind of closed up. And I'm show you, showing you the status uh, two weeks on, October 1st. I'm trying to get to the middle of October. Here are the snow peas still going gangbusters. This is the Thai basil that's been in here. It was really going downhill when I first put it in here, but it's got a lot of new growth now. This is the tomato plant. Two weeks on from the last video, you can see it's uh really gone gone downhill i think it's just at the end of its uh life cycle cucumbers we got eight large cucumbers one kind of semi-large the little ones don't look like they're gonna make it there uh, i take it back here's one right here we're gonna probably get a couple more off that uh, cucumber plant two of them actually got a real late start in the year with those Here's the pumpkin plants. They're doing fine, except now, something uh, curious I noticed. The leaves here took a hit. They're actually touching the fiberglass, so I'm wondering if the fiberglass got cold enough to transfer that cold and uh, shrivel the end of this plant. The other one's doing the same thing. This one, you actually can see it better. It's still growing. It's still plenty green. Here's some of it right here. So I guess now I'll go out and show you the outdoor garden. It's pretty much done. And uh, I'll walk out there next. So this is the outdoor garden check. Saw the greenhouse. It's a little later in the day, actually. It's actually turning out to be a pretty nice day. But uh, yeah, this is, this is the potatoes here. And I came out here and I started looking in there, see what we got. We're gonna get a lot out of here, but uh, you can see this frost happened about like say the 26 or something like that and uh, did them in and you know, this one here's kind of hanging on, but uh, they were getting close anyway, but uh, they were quite green you can see. And um, when the frost came through or the cold temps, it, it, it pretty much wiped them out. And this guy here, this is a third pumpkin plant. Um, this was actually the biggest one out of the three. The other two are in the greenhouse and they far outstrip this one in growth. And, uh, it pretty much, the frost got it too. So it's, it's had it a couple of little pumpkins grown, but they weren't going to develop anyway. Cause next year I'll be able to start all these, uh, well, I'm going to keep my potatoes out here, but the, everything else is going in that greenhouse. So. Anyway, that's what happens around out here, uh, outside gardens, and I'm gonna come and get all these uh, taters. Taters, precious. So that's uh, something for me to do today, or I'll have the wife do it. How'd you do? Pretty good. Hold, can you tilt the bowl? Yeah. So the honeybees apparently find their way in here. Getting the last bit of, uh, I guess, nectar off those flowers. And there's only one way for her to get in and out of here, and that's that, these, these hatches. So that must be enough for her to figure out how to get in here. Oh, there she goes. Let's see if she goes out. Yep, that's what she did. That one. Crazy weather. Had a pretty significant freeze on the 3rd. Got into the high 20s and a windstorm yesterday on the 4th. Blew down some more trees. 
third major windstorm. It's good to know the greenhouse can survive. I'm gonna go do a check. And uh, on the third, we had a pretty good freeze. That was an honest to goodness freeze. Got down to uh, 29 degrees on my cal uh, thermometer, outdoor thermometer. And so I came in here, I think it was, well, it's yesterday after after the uh, the freeze, uh, the day after, and uh, I noticed some stuff. Uh, the cucumbers, they kind of took a hit on that freeze. Uh, yeah, but the cucumbers took a pretty good whacking. And uh, it looks like the pumpkins are a little more shriveled there on the ends. Uh, they're still doing fine, you know, where they're not touching the exterior wall. It's very warm in here. The vents are open. So I'm going to keep letting this thing go. I want to see uh, how far it's going to extend. But uh, these snow peas, they're doing great. Normally this time of year, they'd look more like this. They'd be uh, shriveling up and dying, but uh, they're very green and lush and growing. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to keep monitoring this, and uh, I will keep adding to this video. And uh, until all these plants go to plant heaven, I, I will monitor it. And so today's October 8th, a few days after my last update, and... Um, I kind of screwed up. I, I accidentally uh, left the vent open and we had a freezing night. I think it was the six. And uh, anyway, everything took a hit. Uh, I came out in the morning and I noticed the vent was open. I was like, damn it, you know. <laughs> it uh, really did a number on the pumpkins down here. And yeah, the cucumber it's just had it so i'm out here i'm picking some stuff trying to salvage what's left i uh, got some more snow peas and a, some tomatoes i'm still gonna pick a couple more off there yeah i i messed up but uh snow peas uh they actually took a little bit of a nosedive too so anyway uh that's gonna skew the test a little bit but um I think that uh, these were going downhill fast, and uh, the cucumber, uh, it's not coming back from that freeze, and it was producing some little cucumbers, and I doubt if those are going to form now, because it looks like all the leafy parts are kaput. So today's October 15th, and... I'm doing a quick update because this is my was my goal to get to the middle of October. So I'll do a quick inventory of what's going on in here. Snow peas. They're starting to show their age. And yet they're still quite vigorous and uh, they're actually flowering still. And I think we're going to get some more. There's a small crop on here, as you can see. Um, yeah, come in here and pick these. The basil also is doing okay. It's actually flowering. And uh, this damage happened when they were outside at the end of September. There was a frost that came through and, and got them. This one's been in here the whole time, and it's doing fine. We actually picked a bunch of it last night. Um, the big losers are the cucumber and the pumpkin plants. And of course the tomato has just run its course, I think. Um, we'll get a few more off there. Um, and the wife actually found one last cucumber hiding in the back there. And she picked that the other day and we ate it, it was good. Um, the pumpkin plants, kind of funny, they're still clinging to life. They're still producing new leaves and flowers, but obviously they're on the last leg.
Quick update here. It's October 21st, Monday. We have been gone a couple of days. Uh, we left Friday afternoon and Friday night was scheduled to have a low of 24 degrees, uh, which probably means it was more like 21, 22 degrees around here. And today's the first chance I got to come out here and check on them. So a few days after the freeze, and this is what I found. Uh, quite a few snow peas I picked. They got a little frost damage, but the wife says they're perfectly fine to eat. The basil, yeah, it, the frost finished it off finally. It was green on Friday afternoon when we left, and this is what we came back to. Um, of course, the pumpkins and the cucumbers have long been done, but the blueberry is another kind of a surprise um, because normally this would be very much in its fall colors and dropping a significant portion of its leaves. And it has been extended at least a couple of weeks as have uh, the snow peas because these would have been long gone also. So still getting flowers and uh, snow peas off it. So. is October 31st. It's been in the uh, 20s here at night for the last week or so. Um, I think it's pretty safe to say that the 2024 growing season has uh, come to an end. So today is October 31st and uh, happy Halloween everybody. Um, I think I'm calling this uh, grow season. Uh, you know, uh, my snow peas, although they're still doing somewhat well uh, have a lot of frost damage on them now you can see it and uh, the snow peas they're just not developing it's just too cold here at night it's in the been in the 20s low 20s even so they're done um, and uh, the other survivor which is kind of a surprise is my uh, blueberry plant which <laughs> It seems uh, immortal at this point, but uh, yeah, last year, uh, or, or past seasons, this would have been, you know, pretty much bare, uh, dropped all its leaves by the end of October. It's definitely been extended, as have the snow peas. So I'm, get, I, I'm thinking I got probably three weeks extension, and that's with no auxiliary heating, uh, and just letting it go natu el natural uh, as far as uh, the temperature. I think it's been a probably, I don't know, maybe five degrees warmer in here at night, just warm enough to, to keep these plants going. Um, and uh, so I'm very happy with the performance of this. And next year I will be adding some either some passive heating with some heat sinks or and or a uh, small electric heater, 750 watt little ceramic heater in here. But I wanted to see what just the greenhouse would do and I got three weeks out of it extension, so I'm happy with that. I don't think these are any better or any worse, these fiberglass uh, than a uh, greenhouses than a traditional uh, greenhouse. So I guess it's just a matter of aesthetics and budget and all that, but uh, I'm very happy with it. And I think uh, next spring I'll see how much extension I get uh, in, in the, the uh, beginning of the growing season, but I'm suspecting it'll be uh, a few weeks. So anyway, that's, uh, that's it for this series. Thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you next year perhaps.